Hi, Dale coming to you from my garage again and today we have another quick build for my wife for her classroom. This little guy is called a phonics phone. What they're used for are for kids when they're sounding out their words like p, p, d, d. When the entire class is doing it, it's difficult for them to hear. They put it up here, whatever they speak here, they hear very clearly th through the ear. Works great. These, if you go online, as simple as this can be, these sell for anywhere between five and about $12 a piece. One place had them for about seven bucks. And then exactly this was another $9 for shipping and handling. So the only thing I can assume is the shipping went the long way around the earth to cost seven, eight, nine bucks to ship this. So I'm gonna show you how to make these, not for six or seven or even 12 bucks a piece, but I'm gonna make 10 of them for under 10 bucks. Grab the 10 foot section of three quarter inch PVC you got at the big box store. You're gonna start by measuring off four and a half inches. There's multiple ways to cut PVC. I'm gonna show you a few. You can use a coping saw. The coping saw cuts just fine, but it does leave kind of a messy end, which you're gonna to need to sand off later. You can use a hacksaw. Much like the coping saw, goes through the PVC quite easily, but leaves a messy end, and again, you'll have to sand it off. There's a tool specifically made to cut through PVC piping. It works on a ratcheting system, and it's quite easy to cut through and makes smooth cuts. This is fine if you only need to make a couple cuts, but I've got several, so I need a faster way. Miter saws make quick work of PVC and leave a very smooth end. The table saw with a sled is another fast and efficient way to cut through PVC piping it also leaves a very smooth end, but with a 10 foot section of PVC piping, it hangs off the end a little too far, making this not really the best choice. So it's back to the miter saw we go. In this situation, it really is the best choice. Set up a stop block at four and a half inches, and you can move through this really, really quickly. Oh yeah, depending on your skill level, there is one more way. Grrr, arg. All right, there you go, guys. Four and a half inch piece of three quarter inch PVC, two elbows, put them on, make sure they're facing the same way, and you've got yourself a phonics phone. The the sounds perfect, comes out. This sells for five, six, seven bucks plus shipping online. I just made 10 of these for about 10 bucks. I still have well over five feet of my original three quarter inch PVC. All I would need to do is go to the big box store, buy two more packages of 10 of these elbows. There's 10 more for about another seven, seven and a quarter. It would probably work great for my wife, but I'm going to go ahead and bling it up a bit and add a little bit of style. But before I do that, I do want to talk about the importance of teachers because a lot of you may not know, most teachers take a lot of money out of their own accounts to go and buy things like this. So even though you may not have, maybe you don't have a kid in school, maybe you don't know a teacher, go ahead, stop by your big box store, buy a piece of PVC, some elbows, and make a bunch of these really, really cheap. Bring them by your local elementary school, drop them off. The teachers there are gonna be very appreciative and who knows, it might just be that gesture that finds the person that's right for you. I'm bringing love to YouTube. You're welcome. All right, on to stylizing. The first thing I wanna do is get rid of all these protrusions on the elbows. I know it's not a big deal, but I don't like it. This includes the manufacturer, SKU number, model number, 
whatever else is stamped on these elbows. Sanding all this off the elbows was a bit tedious. I tried first starting with a belt sander at 60 grit paper and working my way up. But really what I found that works best is simply using my orbital sander with 220. It did take a little time, but it was able to grind all those protrusions off and leave it smooth. There's all sorts of ways to add a little bling and a little style to these. You can paint them, you can hand draw on designs. I'm using some rainbow colored duct tape that I found. It would have been better if it was much wider duct tape, so I would have only had to go around the handle one time. But my wife likes this, so there you go. Wife's happy, I'm happy. So all I do here is take some duct tape and I wrap it around the handle. I need to go around it twice to cover the entire handle. Notice that I'm leaving between a quarter inch and a half inch on each side of the handle. This is so I can add a little dabs of glue so the elbows can be attached permanently. Because those students, if they can remove something, they will. Time for some painting. I had this blue spray paint in my garage, so that's what I'm going to use. I know I've said this before, but I'm saying it again. I really, really do not like painting. I'm sure I put too heavy of a first coat on, didn't wait long enough for the second coat, but this stayed tacky, and even after a couple days, it was still tacky. I found a tip on YouTube, I'm sorry I don't remember the channel, but rub some baby powder over it, and then wipe it off with a damp cloth. And what do you know? It worked. Tackiness went away immediately. Last step is to assemble all the phonics phones. I'm using PVC cement, but you could use just about any type of glue you want. We're not trying to create a watertight bond, just an elementary student-proof bond. As long as it's tight enough to stop the students from pulling these apart, use whatever glue you want. I only dab a small amount on the handle and then slide the elbows on. Wipe off any excess glue that bleeds out right away. Make sure when you put the second elbow on that it's facing the same way as the first. Do this in a well-ventilated room or you may get some drain bramage. I mean brain damage. Yeah. Hello? Ah, not that one. Hello? Ah, not that one either. Hello? Ah! Hello? Oh, Mr. President, you're gonna have to hold on. I got a YouTube video to finish. I'll talk to you later. All right, guys, 12 of these. I originally said I was going to have only 10 made, but as I was working through the garage, I found uh, four more three quarter inch elbows. So I figured go ahead and just add a couple more. Originally, I was going to paint them all sorts of different colors, the phone portion or the, the handle portion, as well as the mouth and ear portion. But when I went and showed my wife the duct tape rainbow stuff here, she really liked it. And when I said I was going to make some of different colors, she said, what, do you hate me? If they're not all exactly the same, the kids are going to fight over them. So I made everyone exactly the same so the kids won't fight over them. I think they came out great. Again, you could have stopped way before adding some style and some bling and painting and just did straight white PVC, put them together and you're done. Easy, 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 but very, very helpful in the classroom. So again, if you know a teacher, and even if you don't, spend 10 bucks, make 10 of them, bring them, to, bring them to an elementary school, they'll love you forever. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and give a like down in the bottom. I'd appreciate it. Until next time, see ya.